So if you come to this home page over here, there is a download go button. So if you go to this download go page, you will be having the different binaries available based on the different operating system and you can download that binary and you can install in your operating system. These are pretty much basic installation so you can directly download the tar file, pkg file or msi file and you can install in your operating system. As I am using windows, I have installed this msi in my system. Once the installation is complete, it's pretty much straightforward. If you open the command prompt, okay and if you do go version over here, you will get the information about the version of the go that has been installed in your system. So there are different environment variable also that if you want to set, you can set accordingly. If you want to use the default one, then you can start ahead with the default environments also. So if you want to see what are the different environments available, then if you go, go env, then you will get all these different environments set for your go language. The most important one is this one go path. So this will define where your go is installed and where your all the libraries will be installed when you are doing go get when you are downloading any packages where it will be stored. This information will be stored over here that information you will get from the go path. So there are different environment properties available. You can change according to the requirement. I'll be leaving to the default one. Let me clear this out. And there are different go commands also available. So if you do go help over here, you can see that these are the different commands available for the go. You can do go bug, build, clean, doc, environment, fix, all these different commands are available. So mostly we'll be using the go build command, go get command and go run command to run our application and to build our application. So this is how I install go in my local machine. You can also install go in your local machine accordingly. If you have not installed then you can pretty much go ahead to the playground and you can do the code as well. So there will be some limitations to do the code in the playground but most of the time you will be able to do that. Now to create a workspace of your go project or to create your go application this information is provided in go documentation itself so you can go through that as well and if you see over here what you have to do is you have to have a go workspace and inside that go workspace you will be having three folders a bin folder src folder and package folder inside your src folder you will be having your entire code so inside your src folder you will be having one folder that is your repository so if you are using github.com you will be having a github.com folder if you are using gitlab then you can create gitlab.com if you are using bitbucket then you can go ahead with that as well so you will be providing the repository that you are using and inside that you will be creating a one folder that will be your username so my username is shabir dwd53 so i'll be creating that particular folder and inside that folder you will be creating the application folder itself so suppose if you are creating project 1 as the application then you will be creating the project 1 as a folder if you are creating project 2 then you will be creating project 2 as a folder there so inside each individual folders or inside each individual projects you will be creating your project files as go starts with the main file there you can create your main files and you can start programming there itself so this is the standard workspace folder structure that you will be creating to build your go application. So let's go ahead and create this particular folder structure and start working on the go language. So here I'm going into F directory over here. Okay. And here I'll be creating my folder structure. So I'll be creating go workspace over here. So I'll create the folder go over here. Okay. So you can see that my go folder is created. Now I'll go inside this folder. I'll go inside this. So here I have to create these three folders, bin, src and package. So let's create those folders. So let's create the folder mkdir, src, mkdir, pkg and mkdir bin. Let me clear it out and you can see that they, we created these three packages. Let's go inside the src folder. Now inside this folder we have to create our github.com folder and inside that we will be creating the user and then application. So we will be creating the folder mkdir github.com We will go inside this particular folder. Now I will create another folder that is shabbridwd53 We will go inside this folder. We will create application folder sorry We'll create the application folder if we go inside this application folder here we can create our files let me clear this out over here go ahead into f directory okay and if i so if i do tree over here you can see that this is our folder structure we created bin pkg and src folder over here then inside this src we created github.com inside that we created our user that is shabir dwd53 inside that we created app 
and inside this folder we will be adding our go files so you can also create the similar structure like this and start working with me so now let's go ahead and open this in any of the text editor i generally use vs code and sometimes i use jetbrains goland also most of the time i use vs code only and there are a lot of plugins also available to work with go so let's go ahead and open it and we'll see the plugins as well so i'll go inside this particular directory cd bin sorry cd src github.com shabby dw53 app we'll go inside this particular directory and we'll open visual studio code now here you can create your go files okay now before getting started with the program you can install the different plugins available for go language in the visual studio if you go to the plugins over here and if you search with go over here then this is the plugin that i am using you can install this plugin for the go language okay once you install this plugin and you start uh, creating your go files visual studio will prompt you for the other plugins also available that will support go language to make your development easier you can go ahead and install all those plugins also so it will be very helpful to create the go applications so let's go ahead and create the file over here so we'll create main.go file all our go files will be having the extension .go okay and our default file will be main and will be having a main method from where our go programming language will start go application will start okay so let's go ahead and create this so what we'll do is we'll just go to the playground and we will get the default program over here okay so this is the default program let's copy paste this program so here you can see that there is a structure in the go programming language all our file will start with the package declaration which package it is by default our application will start within the main package so we have defined the package main after the package declaration there will be imports that you will be using in your application and after the imports there will be different functions available and between these two there will be different variables or constants you can declare over here those information we will see later in the video so this is the standard structure of the go application now let's see how to run this let's open the terminal over here so i'm using powershell over here in my windows machine okay once you go to this particular folder over here now what you have to do over here to run your application is you have to give go and run command to run your application and in this run you have to pass your go file which is main.go once you hit enter it will compile and run so you can see that you will be getting hello playground so congratulations this is the first go program that you run over here now if you want to build your application then you can build also using the build command that will create the binaries for you so if you do go build over here then you can see that it created the app.exe over here so it created the standalone binary file for you for your execution now if you want to execute that app.exe you can directly go ahead and execute that particular exe and you will get the same result so you can build your application into a single binary file and you can execute that as well here in all of the tutorials we'll be doing the go run only for building and running our application but if you want to create binaries this is the way that you can do the binaries as well now one thing to notice over here is when i use the go build command i didn't give the main.go file over here why because i have to give the information till the application folder only so i gave the information till the application app folder only as i'm inside this particular root directory only i don't have to provide the information for that particular path if i'm inside any other part then you can provide the path information also from here and once you do go build over here whatever application name it is with that application name your binary file will be created and you can execute that binary directly so this is how you can run your application and build your application now this is all the basic about go language